When Freya sent through the footage she'd shot, we were over the moon. She'd really got the hang of the technical aspects of the film, and as we'd expected, her performance was top notch. We swapped her footage into a copy of the test edit and worked through a few reshoots. Some of these reshoots included rethinking our approach to certain moments due to issues such as the iPhone not responding well to low light levels. Adapting to the situation is often a part of practical filmmaking, and this project was no different. As we were working on the edit, my friend John was sending me some clips of music he was casually composing. He'd picked up a guitar and taught himself to play it during lockdown, and his compositions felt like they'd be a beautiful match for an endless summer. I asked him to compose for the film, and he went above and beyond. His music gave a really warm, grounded feel to the whole piece, but having only guitar present for the whole film became somewhat repetitive. We knew exactly who to turn to, Emma Middleton, a composer we'd worked with many times before. She put together a score to suit the remainder of the film with an ethereal quality that complemented the guitar well and brought the variety we were seeking. With music underway and the reshoots finished, we then sent the edit to Phoebe Knowles, an editor we knew from university. She had much more experience than us in visual effects and colour grading, so we asked her to refine and polish the edit of the film we'd put together so far. She did a remarkable job of translating what I had in my head into an effect. The final touch was the sound design. We had used Freya's voiceover as the backbone of the film, and Bethany had kept some of the live sound that the iPhone had picked up while filming in the final edit. The music played a big part in building the soundscape, but there were still some areas of the film that needed extra sound texture. The biggest scene for this was the opening. As there isn't any voiceover, an audience expects to hear sounds of Freya washing up and walking around, but the camera didn't pick up much sound. Bethany did some homemade foley, which is the recording of sounds for overlaying onto a scene. With this in place, a final mix was performed to make sure everything sounded right, and the film was complete. When we started this project, it was one big experiment. We didn't know whether this method of making a film remotely was going to work at all. Very happily it did. We were incredibly proud of the film we produced. It was great to collaborate with Freya again, and the other creatives involved. So, we had a film, but would anyone ever see it? We'd always hoped we would be able to take an endless summer to film festivals and share the story of its creation under lockdown conditions. With thousands of festivals out there, it can often be potluck if you choose which ones to submit to on your own. Instead, we got in touch with Dr. Rebecca Smith, the film festival doctor, who reviewed the film and thought it had a great potential for festivals, especially in UK festivals, women's festivals, and festivals with a COVID category. With her encouragement and expertise behind us, and her tailored festival strategy in hand, we started submitting in early December 2020. Since then, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. We were accepted into Kalakari Annual Festival the day after our first submissions, and have placed in many more since. We've even won some awards. We're still in consideration for lots more festivals, so we're hoping the trend will continue. The other great part of this project has been documenting the process to share with you here. It's allowed us to reflect on the way we work and how projects develop throughout their lifetime, and we hope this has been informative and interesting for you too. We'd love to connect with you, whether you're a fellow filmmaker wanting to geek out over the technical details or you just have an interest in film. You can message us on Facebook or Instagram or contact us through our website, docavenuefilm.com, where you can also sign up to our email newsletter. The next update we share will be the public premiere of An Endless Summer. Thank you again for watching these videos, and please follow our social media channels to see what we get up to next.